Alright guys, how's it going? This is continuing on with the modelling series tutorial and this is part 2 of the spin tool. Now in all honesty, I wasn't entirely happy with the tutorial. It did show the basic fundamentals but the principles behind it, they could be better. So let's take a look at Blender and let's look at the spin tool in a different light. So let's just quickly spin the default cube of mystery. Ooh. And I'll tab into edit mode. And what I'll do here is, with the point selection, I'll just select one point. And I'll press P to bring up the separate menu. And I'm going to separate by selection. Now if you come up to the scene collection, you'll actually see that it's separated the object into a brand new object. So I can actually delete the original cube. And we get this point. So I'll tab back into edit mode, I'll select the point, and I'll come up to the transform tool here. Now if you don't know where that is, it's in the properties by pressing the N key. And I'm actually going to set the X axis back down to zero, and I'll set the Y to zero as well. And I'll leave it one meter on the Z axis. So we get something like this. I'll press one on my numpad, and that'll put me into the front orthographic view. I'll then come to the extrusion tool, and I'll extrude to cursor. So let me zoom in so we can get a better view. And we'll just do an extrusion, so we'll just do something like this. Now to be honest, I'm not actually looking for an award. And hopefully by now you can see what I'm doing. I'm just quickly modelling the shape of a glass. I think the spin tool should probably be called the lathe tool. It is in other applications, and it kind of does work like a lathe. So we'll quickly make something like this. Okay. So just make sure the final point on the x-axis is sitting bang on the zero. And make sure your first point is always sitting on the zero. The next thing I'll do is I'll press A to select all the mesh, and I'll come to the spin tool this time. Let's zoom out a little bit, and we'll use the widget. I'll bring up the dialog box, I'll put the angle to 360 degrees, and I'll put the steps up to maybe something like 16. And that's one real world application why you would use a spin tool. Hopefully this has been a better tutorial. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, because I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.